Hello everybody, back here again with our vlog a day. Today is Saturday the 14th and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got up this morning, fairly decent time frame. I really not wanted to, to be completely honest with you, but it is what it is. So, got up, got the dogs outside, got them all taken care of, all the good fun that comes with it. Um, got them back in, went and got in the hot tub actually uh, for a little bit. Wife got up, so she's awake, so I let the dogs back in, got them all fed, got them all medicated, all the good fun that comes with it. So, overall, pretty easy batch. Um, I've watched them all multiple times before, and they're pretty laid back. The biggest one I have right now that's a little bit of an issue is um, the older retriever I have that doesn't really like being outside. She is wanting to be laying on the floor in the house at all times. She's got too old. She can't jump on the couch anymore or nothing. So I feel a little bad for her. Although I put beds, she's got multiple options for a place to lay on. And she chooses the, you know, the flooring, which I assume maybe she thinks a little bit cooler. I don't know, but it's what she does. So I did see her one time she laid on one of the beds and we only had the AC turned way down overnight. Um, she was on the bed, other than that, she's on the floor. So it's all good, but got a few things done uh, this morning. Nothing too major, got a little bit here and there. Hanging out with the dogs, everything's going well. Basically chilling out, just kind of taking it easy. Wife's got a few things taken care of. She decided to take her father over to the Humane Society to look for a cat, and I knew instantaneously one they've been trying to get a cat forever but i know his personality and she's a little bit that way once she decides she's going to get something it's whatever the first one she sees she'll take it kind of thing so they found him a cat which came home saying kitten turned out i guess a three-year-old cat so but it's a shedder so that's a pain in the butt um i don't know it is what it is so i guess it's easier to groom i guess with sheds i don't know how to get a brush and stuff but they picked out a cat they wanted and she texts me. I'm like, you guys at least take the carrier stuff with you? She goes, no, they're giving us a carrier. I'm like, but why? That's more money out of their pocket that shelter could keep. And we have a real nice carrier and stuff. But I guess they send you home with like a litter box and some toys and whatever and a little crappy carrier. So they got all that stuff, came home, got the cat dropped off, and they went looking on Amazon to buy a bunch of stuff for the cat, which I had said before, why don't you guys start buying that stuff now? knowing that he's 99% likely going to get a cat and have all the stuff ready. They didn't listen to me the last few months, but they ordered it. Um, she found like a cage. They're going to get like a, like a cat condo type thing that they want to put the cat in. And then he goes like the doctor and stuff. When he leaves the house, he goes to the movies. Wants to put the cat in there. I'm not really sure why. Because he's like, why would a cat tear up stuff when I'm not around? But the cat's going to tear up stuff. It's going to tear up stuff because you don't pay attention to shit. Like you're going to be staring at the TV or listening to records. And the cat's going to be over in the corner tearing up stuff. So... Not really sure that makes sense, but it's what he wants. So the one they picked out, I poked a few holes in it. Why I thought it was gonna be a not the best design. So I found a better one for him. So I thought it would work better for the needs. And they agreed, or at least she did. I don't know if she talked to him or not, but she did, so she got that ordered, but it won't be here till Tuesday. So I'm gonna go set them up one of my classical dog kennels. So that way I have someplace to put the cat when he goes to the doctor and stuff, because I have a doctor appointment taking me on Tuesday and Depending on what time the new crate gets here, it won't be here in time. So, but yeah, I got that to deal with. But we got a few other things done. Hanging out with everybody, the dogs and stuff, in and out of the house a few times. And then it was, I don't know, midday. Because after I got back, I uh, said, hey, do you feel like laying down and watching a movie? Which basically means take a nap. Because that's our version of watching the movie. So, she agreed. It's not a good idea. So, we all laid down. Basically, just chilling out, watch a little bit of TV, end up watching a TV show, not a movie, but um, they're like an hour long each, so it's pretty easy to do. A couple hours went by and got to do a few other things to get taken care of, and went outside with the dogs, and it's torrential downpouring. Like it is just raining hard. I was like, oh, that sucks. So I was like, okay, so the dogs and I chilled out there a little bit, and they did go out and went potty in the rain, which sucked for them, but hung out there for a while, looked at the map, and on the radar, it said it was supposed to stop raining in about an hour. It was supposed to be, if not 100% done, almost. So I'm like, cool, I'll give it an hour, and then I'll go for a run. And it didn't stop raining. But I went by, and it was raining harder, and I was like, well, tell us, look at the map, and it looks like it's gonna get worse. So I'm like, well, it's gonna get worse now, though. Decided to hold it, went ahead, got my running gear on, went out for a run in the rain, and it's massive flooding going on around here, man. It's been raining like hard. It rained fast and hard for a while. And there is, you can see the background behind me, the ditches and stuff are all still full. And it was, I was running in probably six inch deep water on the streets and stuff. The sidewalks were fully flooded. You can see here, I need some truck and stuff. Like it's just, it's bad, bad. So 
crazy why we had water about halfway up our yard towards our house. Nowhere we still had probably another three and a half, four inches where it's gonna cause us problems for like flooding, but still a lot of water and lightning and storming out like crazy. And of course the dogs are scared of lightning and still thunder. Mostly the bistro, he's just terrified of it. So he's literally laying on my wife's like chest and lap, like laying there on her. She's sitting on the couch, she's laying there stuff, just drooling all over to the point she had to change her shirt. He was drooling so bad. So yeah, got back in. She said something about going out to get something to eat, like going get Chinese or picking up pizza or something. I'm like we ain't going nowhere. Like the roads are flooded, it's it's bad, bad. So we're eating whatever we have here in the house. And she agreed, it made sense. So she went ahead and said, held it and well, I got a shower. She chucked a pizza in the oven, and we had a pretty good pizza, actually. I was surprised. I'm not even sure what kind of it was. I got to look at the box and see what it was, but just a frozen pizza, and it was pretty good. Watched a little bit of TV, uh, chilled out in there. Rain finally cut back, and it was still flooding out. It was real bad flooding, but went and looked. We had some cops going on the street and whatnot, so I assumed a car had flooded out. Just walked out to check on it, and it wasn't. It was just the cops patrolling just pushing water all over the place, flooding everybody's houses worse and whatnot. So yeah, they're building way too many houses around us and not putting in enough retention ponds for all the water that the runoff is because if you take out even as little as like 10 acres of what would have been our basically wetland, our catch area for our water, you take out 10 acres of that literally at the end of our neighborhood and then you also put in a bunch of roof lines and a bunch of driveways and a bunch of roads and all that water has to go somewhere if you don't build a big enough catch pond for it all which they should have had a bigger catch pond anyway because i think they should have dug more dirt out to make the roads and the houses higher to begin with so there's less flood flooding but that costs more money and builders don't give a shit so they don't care that's that's the owner's problem not the builder's problem so but yeah there's that so we had a ton of flooding everybody on our facebook bitching and complaining about how bad the flooding was and how it's the city needs to cut back the building and require more retention ponds and just absolutely a mess it's just yeah but i got back got back safe uh, that was a big thing it was i said crazy lightning and stuff went in and jumped in the shower which is also scary when you're dealing with basically thunderstorm lightning and whatnot never safe to get in the shower but i figured i was just out running around out in the damn lightning storm anyway so what difference it make if i'm in a shower so grab a shower real quick had yourself pizza for dinner got the dogs all fed again and then watched a little more TV. After that, the rain had cut back. It was barely drizzling, and then it finally stopped. Headed back outside, hung out there with the dogs on the patio, and the one dog rotated in and out a couple times, but mostly just two of us out there with two dogs and me, enjoying my cigar, having a wonderful evening before I finally headed back in. Called it a night, grabbed myself a little snack. My wife wanted a snack also, so she ended up using some M&Ms. I got myself some Doritos, and watched a little bit of Frasier, and wrapped it up and called it a night. So. That's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.